We're here today to honor those who began this innovative and very unique program 50 years ago. I can say no student gets lost here at Malloy. And it's because of programs like SMILE that nobody gets lost. And no one slips through the cracks. It is clear that SMILE has left its footprint on so many of us. I dreamed of a gathering that would bring the SMILE community together to celebrate the past and to look forward to the future. Smile The fact that we have this incredible gathering 20 years after Leo's passing and 50 years after the program was founded is simply remarkable. SMILE, the groundbreaking peer group counseling program that it is, is the longest running non-athletic program in the school's history. I was a freshman here in 1959-60. When I arrived here, I was terrified. But one day, I'm hanging around at the school. All of a sudden, the door of this classroom flies open. In comes this man, dressed in a long, black, Maris habit, and he says something to the senior about, you know, you can do it, I'm glad to see, look, there's something like this, and then vanishes. <laughs> In the late 50s and early 60s, Brother Leo Richard Morris was a history, religion teacher, and a field events coach at Malloy. He was dedicated to his work, but he was also drawing kids close to him through his dynamic personality. The Vietnam War, the Cold War being played out, uh, John F. Kennedy's assassination, Martin Luther King's assassination. There were so many different things happening in America, the civil rights movement. So in the mid-60s, at a random Queens Catholic high school full of boys, to start group counseling, peers to peers, life on life, was incredible. Initially, Leo was talking to students anywhere he could find space. Eventually, one of the brothers let him use his office when he was not there. That office was room 304. Many of you probably remember it being called the cave. To help him do this work, he would have young people who had worked out some of their problems themselves to help others who were like them. We called that concept likes on likes. They had been through it, so they would know what to say to help others. But they had come up with a name for what was happening at the school. The name was Smile. And it stood for something more than life's experience. To be able to put some voice also with the others today in this program that started with Leo and Chilla is uh, such an honor. Um, I think of the work that they started, all the people that they brought in. Mary Michaels, Mary Hart, trusting Leo and almost literally being thrown into a room with a bunch of boys. I feel so fortunate to have worked when I was a kid. Regis, Leo, Ron. Blessed by their incredibly giving nature, thoughtfulness, encouragement, support. As were, like a lot of us have said, literally hundreds, and thousands, hundreds or thousands of people. How many teachers, guidance counselors, social workers, and therapists have grown into careers based on their interactions with these inspirational and caring individuals? How many lives have been changed forever by the unconditional love, acceptance, and support of the counselors in this great program? I know Brother Leo would be very proud today to see this gathering and grateful that his life's mission is being carried on here today. I guess that it's between 16 and 20,000 people have been affected by the SMILE program and peer groups. 
Smile has helped me as a student because I've learned to overcome so many things in my life. Smile helped me as a student by really letting me become me. Smile was so important for me as a student. It really helped me become who I am as a person today. It's given me a voice. So that idea of community and the amazing environment that you can create from Smile, that's what really stuck with me. Joining Smile completely changed my life. Without joining Smile, I wouldn't have had the confidence to do as many things as I do today. The program helped me navigate not only school, but my issues. Um, how it make the experience much better. And as an adult, I think it's made me more compassionate of others. I have to meet my best friends, who are still my best friends now, and hopefully will be whenever the next reunion is. It gave me a place that I knew was safe, a place that I could stay, you know, express my opinion without being judged. Now that I'm a social worker myself and I work in a health home program, I take that passion of wanting to care for another person. You got to really learn about people. You got to learn about them. The, what was in the depths of the people's hearts. What was important is how we see the good in people. And as a transition into adulthood, I still kept that spirit with me. Smile helped me as a student at Malloy by teaching me how to be confident in my decisions and learning that it was okay to feel the way I felt um, because my peers were feeling the same way too. Uh, the inspiration of people like Regis and Leo in my life and so many others um, really called me to continue to somehow uh, to make a difference in my own life. Um, and certainly my own journey to becoming a Marist brother really would never have happened if it hadn't been for uh, those great saints in my life. Those things were incredible. The days, I was, I was the smile I've ever seen today. And the things that we did there, the things we talked about, the idea that, that people you know, have a common thread and that all you need to do is talk about it. And, and like I said today, you live your story and explain your story. Being able to do that, I do that every single day in my life. We always are focused on is that solidarity, that commonality, that, that tie that, that binds and bonds us. To serve in an office, uh, the cave, that was a major part of my own formation, is one of the most humbling and, and beautiful things that I could have ever done with my life. And so to be a part of it, to be a part of a day like today, is just, like you said, it's just beautiful. If he was here today, I know what he would say to me, what he would say to any of us. Love who you are. We try to accept who you are. We're kind of that. Love who you are. Be who you are.